Prince Harry and Prince William's feud set to continue due to Meghan's victim tendency. Meghan Markle's victim tendency makes a reconciliation between Prince William and Prince Harry almost impossible, an author has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from full-time royal duties in March 2020, and now live in Montecito, California. Harry and William have long been reported to be at odds ahead of the Sussex royals' wedding to Meghan in 2018. Tom Bauer, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, examined the rift between the brothers and Meghan in his new release. He claimed it is too late for a reconciliation between William and Harry because of Meghan's tendency to play the victim. Mr. Bauer claimed that when Harry and Meghan stepped down as senior royals, relations between William and wife Kate with Harry and Meghan had broken down. The author explained, at the heart of their divergence was Meghan's unwillingness to be part of a team. There was no intimacy. Mr. Bauer told OK! Magazine. Meghan had convinced Harry that William's staff were marrying her. Whispers about a tiara, that Kate had cried, her own demand for heiress all in St. George's Chapel and now the staff's outrageous complaints about her behavior were, she said, invented to undermine her. The author's book also claimed Harry and Meghan wanted to appear with the Queen on Buckingham Palace's balcony during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Royal expert and author Katie Nichol quoted a source who said that in 2018, Harry told William he wasn't doing enough to include Meghan in the royal family. According to Cosmopolitan, the source said, Harry felt William was trolling out the red carpet for Meghan and told him so. They had a bit of a fallout, which was only resolved when Charles stepped in and asked William to make an effort. That's when the Cambridges invited the Sussexes to spend Christmas with them. In a documentary in February 2019, Ems Nichol said, William was quite concerned that the relationship had moved so quickly. And being close to Harry, probably the only person close enough to say to Harry, this seems to be moving quickly, are you sure? I think what was meant as well I intended brotherly advice just trialed Harry. Harry is hugely protective of Meghan. He saw that as criticism. He interpreted that as his brother not really being behind this marriage, this union, and I don't think things have been quite right ever since. Ems Nichol also told Entertainment Tonight how little time the brothers and their wives spent together at last month's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. She said, I think that does signal not just a busy timetable on the part of the Cambridges, but perhaps also a bit of a lack of trust. I do know that William and Kate are worried that anything they might say or do with the fact that it could end up being leaked to the media. So, I think in the case of really having to prove now that they can be trusted. William has reportedly been mourning since Harry's exit from royal life because of the painful lines the Sussex royal seems to have crossed according to the Daily Mail. A source close to the Duke of Cambridge claimed, William, alternates between grieving for what he has lost and feeling really really angry about what his brother has done. The close friend added how the princes currently stand at rock bottom and, William, truly loves Harry and feels he has lost the only person, aside from his wife, who understood this strange life of theirs. They added, but he believes there are things you just don't do. And Harry has 100% crossed that line.
lines the Sussex royal seems to have crossed according to the Daily Mail. A source close to the Duke of Cambridge claimed, William, alternates between grieving for what he has lost and feeling really, really angry about what his brother has done. The close friend added how the princes currently stand at rock bottom and, William, truly loves Harry and feels he has lost the only person, aside from his wife, who understood this strange life of theirs. They added, but he believes there are things you just don't do. And Harry has 100% crossed that line.